Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here uh, in session two, how to day trade in scalp and also picking up the home runs which I must remember to show you how to pick those home runs up session two using tick charts on the ES if you're watching this uh, session two for the first time it doesn't matter which market you're trading whether it be futures Forex or stocks uh, whether you're trading with tick time or range or Renko charts you apply the exact same principles to all type of charts now I do need I know you may have just seen this but I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer uh, make sure you've got your pen and notebook handy because I'm covering a lot of proven strategies that have been working for generations um, I think it was Gan that said famously once there's nothing new under the Sun and likewise when it comes to trading particularly if you're trading with the trend it, you know trading pullbacks and retracements in the direction of a high time frame has been around for years and it works it works brilliantly so be open minded now there is if you're watching this very quickly if you're watching this uh, for the second time or watching session two you can download my compound calculator that you'll see um, that I use in the session one so you can download that um, where I give these projections on potential returns so you can download that free of charge and you may remember uh, we've started off by looking at trading during the Asian session during the Australian session or what we call the globex session so it's a much slower market but that really doesn't matter when it comes to the strategies okay so uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't seen session one uh, and of course you can download um, uh, my uh, ebook as well uh, I've got a, man, a training manual there as well end of ad okay that's two minutes let's get straight back into uh, how we pick winning trades uh, on tick charts so just before we uh, went away we spoke about a potential entry and that's not what we wanted to do we didn't want to really well actually we'll do this for now because I want to get to the main um, New York session so right here we've got a bounce now remember I mentioned we're looking at trading in the direction of a higher time frame so I've got my tick countdown timers telling me when I'm going to have a close of my candles and you may remember we're looking at closing in the top one third of the candle now you can actually take some of these entries what you've got to watch traders is when we start taking some of these you never want to take 34b after a 1 or 2d after major divergence any any of these minor pullbacks if you've had major divergence you'll be stopped on those you want to avoid these so what we're looking at doing of course is looking at trading in the direction of our higher time frames you only need three or four of these trades a day uh, and you're making a great deal of money so we had an entry right there on that close or you've got another re-entry there or there okay so now remember a stops gonna go one tick below your closest swing low which is right there down here okay and we're after a minimum of six to eight ticks and you can see there you romp your eight ticks now when you're trading with your anchor charts this is where you've got to learn to trade your instruments okay to read your instruments and that is we can see now I've made a new higher high and if we look over here we can see now I've made a new higher high also on my anchor chart one okay and so I'm making higher highs and what I'm looking at here traders is do I have divergence again now this is what I call big picture divergence newer traders don't take these initially master the art of trading with trend to begin with then once you've got that down pat and you're consistently profitable then start to take these okay so traders my target is going to be the um, uh, the 89 sign remember if I've got divergence only on my entry chart I'm looking at taking profits of 34 if I've got divergence on my anchors I'm looking at taking it at the cyan okay so my stop of course I, I'm entering on the close 
on or below my trigger line which is our blue line and my stop one tick above or a maximum of eight ticks I really prefer to keep that stop at around um, uh, six ticks okay we're coming down we're coming down right bang I would be out at this level now why at this level what I want you to notice traders is the strength of the trend um, there's something magical with these fib number EMAs that I use now the 200 I use is not a fib number okay 233 is sort of the closest fib number to it but so many traders use the 200 EMA uh, that's why I still use it but what I want you to notice here is I've got a bounce at or a potentially at the 89 if I break this my next level will be down here at the 200 and at the floor pivot but what I want you to notice is I'm in an uptrend now and that's why in the last video I said you want to take this because we're with the trend once you break through a pivot you come down and bounce off a pivot I want to trade back in the direction of that time frame so let's look for our next with trend trade and there it is right there now why do I have an entry there note the full candle now that white paint bar would show a green candle now members that are watching this uh, if we remember on the second candle the white paint bar would not appear until we get that uptick just there right now okay so that would just show a green by entering above the um, uh, the trigger line the blue line it gets us in earlier and we can see here um, uh, we enter on the close once again your tick countdown timer gives you the heads up when that's about to close now remember this is live so it's telling me what's happening which will scoot over and have a look at in a moment and my stop would be one tick below the low just here all right whoops that's not good now here's an example of where having a, um, my stop one tick below has kept me in now for members watching this uh, you may all recognize this and traders we call this a bet the farm trade see I've come down and I've tested this twice and I've got uh, divergence here this is what we call a bet the farm trade it's a bit of a tongue-in-cheek because we still follow a maximum of a 2% money management rule but this kicks butt this particular trade all right and we're after our eight ticks again ideally okay so we want to break this high and bang okay so there is another $100 move just there so what do I now want to look for traders okay so here I've really got a good solid uptrend happening right so we really want to stay with that now because I want to go and have a look at the New York session I've just skipped ahead here a little bit okay so just here you can see we're now in a sideways market and this is where we start to really a good heads up that we're in a chop uh, session is when you see all of your EMAs coming together see this here and this is when we can start to take in account Bill Williams fractal see these little black dots these are fractal points and this is where we want to be very aware of this sideways action now this is where you want to really be sitting on hands now what will give me the breakout from here is when I start to get divergence on my higher time frames okay now even right there see that there notice how we've come down of a 200 remember earlier I said the 200 is a magical number okay so what we've got there is a bounce right on the 200 there and we call that by the way a 2b that's a 2b entry you get your breakout and what have you got there that is a t20-1 again okay but let's now get to the higher time frame okay so um, let's go here let's look at a 500 tick chart during the last session okay so let me just whiz along here okay all right now let's go and remember I don't want to be using the and actually why don't we just do this 
let's expand this chart where uh, we can't see the anchor charts when necessary I'll say let's go to the anchor charts okay let me also turn off the super scalper the white paint bar because what you've got to learn here traders is learn to trade by reading the right hand side of the chart that's really what you've got to be doing whoops let me close that okay so let's sort of start from from down here now what I've got here is that red line there is a weekly pivot and the yellow line is the floor pivot this is perhaps a really important lesson within this alone see up here that's what we call the R1 resistance one this is the midline pivot of a floor pivot or the mid pivot that you get in between all your pivots that's a weekly as I mentioned and under and notice this one here that's what we call the midline pivot the 50% level unfortunately um, most traders have got no idea about the midline pivot look at this see how we bounce off there we bounce off there it's the 50% level and what's amazing is hardly any traders know about it and you just bounce off it continually now up here when you get a pivot bounce like this look at that screaming divergence you've got there see this lower low great divergence again but let me start by reading from the right hand side exactly what we're looking for now we've come down here into the pivot and I've got no idea what's going to happen on, on this right hand side okay but what I can tell you is see the angle of our EMAs that's what we call angulation right there so we've got what we call angulation now my entry is going to be on the close above my trigger line uh, you could enter if you wished right there on this um, uh, third candle if you really wanted to but sort of you've got that little see that red candle there so either there or there would be your entry but now the sooner we enter a trade for if you're going to be like me where you like to put your stop one tick below a swing low uh, the sooner you enter the smaller the stop you can have now I've got a little bit of divergence without going back to the anchor charts um, uh, look um, we, we probably it's look it could look I don't know if it's a 1d and what I mean by that I've got divergence on a higher time frame I've got a little bit of divergence there right um, look uh, look let's just say we won't take this one if we did we'd be targeting either the uh, the gold but we got a saying follow the gold or our cyan and note up here I've got a pivot see that there uh, so I'm changing my mind I, I want to buy into that pivot and that becomes what we call a pivot magnet trade and let's just see whether or not okay so now we're into this uh, look I've got a lot of sideways action uh, I'm just going to sit this out for a minute all right note the time 735 so that's 835 this is um, central standard time so this is 835 now remember when the market opens at 9 30 which is 8 30 here I really personally don't want to be in the market for the first five to ten minutes all right it's what I call the killing field all right so come in here all right now what let's see what happens with my MACD here all right so what I've got just here is a little t19 what's the time to look I'm going to sit this out and a reason being I think I've, I've actually got a short here I'd like to see what's happening on the anchor chart stuff it let's look at this expression let's look at the anchor and here it is right there all right so this is why we would take this and this is why anchor charts are so important what's the bias of the trend look at this it's coming down right so we've got a downtrend remember on the last video I, I think it was the last one or even this one I, I mentioned about the power of a 200 see how we're bouncing there or for 200 right I want to take that short what we have to be aware of is the market open just okay at 830 so we will take that as a short signal but we I really personally I want to get out a couple of minutes before the market opens All right so we will take that as a short and I call that it's actually a 3b a bounce a bounce a bounce that's a 3b let's take this as a short I'll expand this because we'll 
hide what's going to happen here now where's my stop by the way one tick above and we can see here we're in a downtrend remember what I said about the pivots before when you're in a downtrend you break through the pivot your pivots then become resistance you want to trade back in the direction of that trend okay so we've just picked up um, a good uh, our eight ticks and we're out oops it had to be over here actually we might actually we might have only got four or six ticks out of that right so we've now got the open I'm not going to trade the open right it's now some traders do really well I just don't like trading it now look at the timing down here all right so here I'm looking at the time and it's probably not trading too bad but the reason I'm bringing up the time what I've got here is the pivot and the reason I bring that up is this I'm now getting divergence and right now I've got a close so this is five minutes after the market opened so that sort of five minutes price I, I may be tempted to take this as a long and one of the big reasons is is this see that there we call that angulation I've got a lot of angulation I've got divergence and let me show you something else I would do let's look at now and I'll give you a huge tip here let's go and have a look at our Renko chart now our Renko charts is I trade using a combo of both Renko's and tick charts and what I mean by that I have um, my tick charts because I've got multiple screens I have my tick charts above my Renko so I've got both my Renko displayed which gives me beautiful smooth in action and I've got my tick charts which will give me additional trade entries and at times give me further confirmation on a move and the reason I'd be probably even though it's only five minutes after I've got divergence and I've also got divergence here and how did I know that well I didn't that's why I wanted to have a look at the Renko and so we'd also look at our uh, anchor charts uh, on the tick so I think we should look at this because it's an important lesson for you here so if we go back now that's what I want to look at and let's look at the anchor chart down here so let's open this wide okay so let's look at our entry chart anchor chart one oh, there it is there all right and here it is here all right here's the very reason why I do want to take this trade right here I've got divergence here divergence here and a pivot bounce so there are exceptional reasons why we want to take let's just get back down to this why we want to take this particular trade just here now it would be a market order there is no way known I've got time to put a limit order in um, or a buy stop at that stage because the markets pumping what that means is usually at that time of day I might get two ticks of slippage on five to ten contracts five to ten lots you're going to get your slippage okay that's just the amount of data coming in every man and his dog is trading but look at that there you've got a great potential move all right so we'll take that long so let's just talk targets for a minute I think targets is really important look what we've got in front of us we've got our gold the cyan and the 200 now because we've got divergence on all three time frames when it comes to our tick charts as a minimum we're going to target the cyan and it probably go for the 200 we'll just see what happens here right any sign of trouble and what I mean by that if I if I was trailing here and you see it stalling at the cyan right I'll get out all right uh, you can always get back in okay we can always get back in so let's aim for the cyan over 200 okay we're in I've got an eight tick stop now let's just talk stops here's a classic case where I'm not going to be under the low so I've got a two point stop that's two points there by the way so using a two point maybe it is you know it might it might just get my stop below all right and bang look at this we're straight through now what have I mentioned about the 200 it is a bounce point if we break the 200 what is above us the weekly pivot and the floor pivot is our next level 
if we break this there's our next level remember as traders we're always anticipating where my price action was my entry where's my stop and where my price action go look at that angulation see that there so and look at that how do I know that traders we see it every day off these levels so what am I now looking for now traders what we've got right here is what we call a 3d a 3d gives me a very very high probability of a market turn even if only for the short term okay so what I'm going to look for is another trade entry which will take me up even higher okay so look at this here see how my my 34 is now turned up notice how the 8 is above the 34 that's what we call just there a t20 a t20 is when the 8 crosses the 34 now I want to look for a pullback and a trend continuation so for, and bang there it is right there now remember we are looking at a 500 tick chart so you've got a bit of time that you'd see that flying okay if that was during New York hours okay let's talk targets again I'd have automatically an eight tick stop uh, with the New York hours if I if I could pull it up I would I like to have it smaller uh, and my target ideally is going to be either the midline sorry is either the weekly if I get past the 200 let me say this I've got to get past the 200 it'll be the weekly or the midline okay there we have it again see that resistance right there so what would I do yes you're probably right I would probably exit right there at that resistance now I might have only picked up four to six ticks I'm a scalper I'm a day trader so what I'm now going to look for is another re-entry back in the direction of this trend I'm still committed to this trend move so look at this note down here I'm now going to look for a short-term stochastic hook as a nice confirmation ah oh, sorry and that was it sorry that's what I meant by the hook sorry I was looking up what was happening up there without looking there see that there there is it's called a slingshot the slingshot has been around since the day dot and the slingshot gave me the entry right uh, I'm going to take that back and say I wouldn't have taken it look I might have got in and others would have got in there see this here see your inside candles might have got in there uh, if if that was up that high I wouldn't have entered and because we're not live I can't really say whether I would have been in look let's just say I wasn't in if and if I was beautiful okay just the reason being when I'm out of the EMAs oh, but I had the 21 there look I, I wait for a hook but if I get a slingshot or a hook where my entry is well out of the EMAs uh, it's just not for me all right now we've up here okay we're high now I've made a new high see that there so what I'm going to look for here traders is, is a really nice top quality divergence trade look for time the market's still pumping here okay this is not one right I don't look at that there I've got a little bit of divergence here but let me just explain my reasoning here traders when you have a really fast moving market divergence trading can be that much more dangerous because what you'll actually see is the trend will kick back off again very very fast and so with with when you've got a really good divergence trade or you've got a top quality one it doesn't matter so much if the market's pumping but say during the globex session say if I entered a trade here and I decided I didn't like it because it's just just pumping along you have got enough time to get out take a haircut I call it taking a small loss or exiting a trade right but note here I've got no divergence on my anchor charts here there little bit here but oh, barely all right let's not take it all right uh, now 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 let's see what happens here look at this okay so we look at this here just to there and we look at 
I'm just looking down I just want to make sure I got the right spot here that there that there now I've got a lot more divergence here look at this divergence now and look what's happening on the anchor chart one see that there I've got a higher high on price I've got a lower high and I've got a lower high here where's my entry right there on the close below the trigger line all right so maximum eight tick stop I barely look I might get away with six that's my ideal because the markets pumping let's take this as a short where's practical spot well we usually will get a bounce at the floor pivot okay so um, uh, if you're a scalper you might only pick up six to eight ticks out of this trade so let's just see how you go and bang see that tail so you would have easily got your eight ticks but uh, do we get a bounce now we get a bounce so what we had there and for any uh, of the, my existing members here do you know what you've got right there you've got a t t10 okay we call that a money on the floor trade or a kitchen trade your highest probability trades in that case is after um, you have major divergence as you had just there so that look it's not an 80% trade all right it's probably about a 70% but look let me say 70% trade maybe 75 if you take it after major divergence okay now if you've only got divergence on your entry chart don't even worry about taking them if you've got major divergence like you got there take the short now we've got to get past the 200 here all right we've got to get past that and look at that see that bounce right there traders at the 200 once again all right traders look we are out of time and you what you in summary what I want to say is this following the trend you know look so much crap out there where people say these trading look this is what traders have been trading for years we're simply following the retracements and trend continuation trades you can't get in any quicker you get a retracement you're in basically usually on the first of a third can't you can't get in any earlier unless perhaps you're putting a, a, a buy stop in way down here we want some confirmation on these okay you want confirmation on these trades and the reason they work is simply we're following the trend traders have been around since the day dot okay like we go and look at this one here what have we got just there just there right look at the support there of a resistance my apologies see this you had another little bit of divergence there let's just you won't you won't have it here because this has made a new lower low see that there you've got that high now you made a new lower low that's what we call a t19 no I wouldn't have taken it because I'm too close to the 34 even though it worked out but look at that right there do I want to take that short absolutely okay that's what we call a 2b let me show you on this uh, just get, get back up now what I'm looking for is a reversal which is right there on that candle there see that one this just there okay so let me put the white paint bars back on because you'll have uh, the super scalper will appear just there now the super scalper is just a great confirmation tool if you want to be conservative with the trading all right there it is right there okay so we've got an entry to go short let's talk targets okay here's my midline pivot and here also traders is my last swing low so I've got two targets the swing low or the floor pivot here and are we going to go down come on all right well we didn't quite make that low now we've got a major turn but as you can see there you've got your eight ticks okay you've got your eight let me just confirm that we would have been in let's just be conservative on the low of that which is uh, 5875 let me not even take the low 58 that's um, 11 ticks there all right so you easily got your ticks there all right so once again what do I do here as I finish up this video 
this is where we want to look at what's happening on our Renko see how much smoother the Renko is all right so that Renko there gave me and look at the rank look at that there's your 200b there it is again over here there now that one just there you may have had a loss there uh, now if you would have taken that one just there uh, traders that is a 200 uh, sorry that's a t12 just there so you might have taken it but then you well and truly picked up after that one you're not going to win them all and then there's your next entry that's enough traders so, all right I think I've covered enough so traders become a member you get to learn all of this you get to um, uh, watch listen and learn uh, four to five hours live every week where we go through this um, uh, doesn't matter which market you trade whether it be stocks Forex or futures um, you get a month free of my coaching after that it's only 97 a month and if you like not um, many members once you join you're never going to want to um, leave particularly if you're if you turn pro okay and don't forget to like my page and download for my free calculator thank you traders now my next video we're going to talk about CL the black gold the Texas T oil tick charts there because I train my members in trading currencies uh, futures Forex oil gold we get to go in all of those okay so um, uh, look out for my next video thanks traders <music>